I want to show you how to draw few things in random. Um, we'll ta start with a very simple one line. Okay, here is a line. So once you reach here, there are two options. Actually, two possibilities, I would say. So we have few choices here. You can either draw a line this way. By the way, that's around 60 degrees. You know, I'll explain soon why that 60 degrees we are interested in. Um, so, so you have that 60. So, so either you can draw one or two or none. Okay. So that's one drawing, just one line. So here is uh, another one. Okay, this side alone. Okay. So here is another option, like this. Then here is one more. Both of those together, right? So then here is one more. So you come here, do the 60 degree thing again here. And maybe this one we don't draw. In fact, maybe you can keep drawing this one. So, so basically at every point, uh, hey, that makes a nice hexagon. So the bottom line is we want to draw a line, right? So we want to draw a line. And then you at this point, you randomly decide to draw this line randomly you draw to draw this line if you draw then you make the decision again this point too so similarly randomly decide to draw this point and you repeat the steps here so the reason that 60 degrees is kind of makes it look nice um, because if you can come around it makes a hexagon so that's why i chose 60 degrees. It need not be 60 degrees you can do 45 degrees on other ones too okay so that's what i want to uh, the implement in the scra the scratch and uh, show you uh, how to do that how to implement this mechanism okay so that way every time when you run this uh, program you will generate a different uh, different uh, picture okay so since you're going to draw i'm just choose a different sprite uh, things and uh, if we go down that's a pencil i'm going to go with say okay and uh, say bye bye to cat for now and uh, make this pencil little bit smaller not bigger smaller okay so now let's see move so many steps pen down I want to clean up things too, clear, because every time when you draw, we want the uh, nice picture, different picture, um, the x-axis, I think I would just set that to minus 100 to start with, um, okay, and pen down, move, let's see, 50 steps, and uh, also I'll probably make a little bit thicker, pen thicker pen size two or three i'll go three for now let's see click on this okay so now you see um it's drawing one place and it's a pencil tip is in another place right because uh, it's drawing by the center portion of the um pencil right so by the way, we want to add this thing is clicked. Okay. So that way we can click here and get it done. Okay. But uh, I don't like this type of drawing. I want to kind of coordinate with the tip. For that, you can go to costume and adjust the pencil. See, right there is the tip. There you go. Okay. See, now immediately this guy aligns. See. So now let's go back to the script and uh, very good it's redrawing just that you cannot see it <laughs> okay so okay that's just one line we want to do that uh, random drawing right this side so for that we need a function we need a block to draw that randomization okay let's see in randomized manner so we are going to draw a line 
so that's what this block we are going to do I'm just going to move this 50 steps inside then instead of uh, instead of this uh, drawing there I'm just going to put a draw line there you're going to invoke the draw line so remaining steps the series of steps we are going to define here so this one is going to take care of that decision moving the 50 steps and may doing that extra steps of uh, randomly deciding going left and drawing and randomly going right and drawing okay so how are we going to do that randomly well you need to do some decision making right so if statement whoa. um okay so um the if statement we are going to use and then then here if uh, so if randomly some kind of some uh, thing is satisfied we are going to go this way so let's see random number we had something here random operators yeah pick a random number we need and uh, so if you randomly if you generate a number between 1 to 10 if that number is less than 5 for example we are going to do that you know something like this okay so pick a random number less than 5 something like that we are going to do let's throw this one in yeah see it highlights when it uh, when you are ready to put it in that's the time to drop okay so if I'm going to put 5 so this anytime this random number 1 to 10 is less than 5 it's going to execute this code so what code do we want to execute turn left 60 degrees okay turn left 60 degrees and uh, then we are going to draw again and do the same decision making but that's the code we already wrote right so we should be able to reuse the same code then all you need to do is draw a line and throw it in there okay and uh, turn left and uh, draw then we want to kind of uh, bring it back to our uh, that regular turn we want to bring it back uh, you will see why that is because we want to draw and you can kind of come back and you want to kind of face this way you know so back so that you can do a second if that's a duplicate right below so now do the same thing now instead of turn right you want to do turn left so you want to adjust this little bit turn left then draw a line and turn right okay so you kind of undo the turns after the drawing okay so turn left draw and then turn right again so that you are facing this way so when bottom one uh, so whether, whether you enter this if or not you'll be always facing this way right from this line point of view bottom one you turn 60 degrees draw a line and turn back and uh, you know um, and uh, you're again this space so when you're done with the draw line you have to move back okay so how do you move back well you have that move line you put it in there and do minus 50 you move back basically draw the line back really you don't need to draw the line back but um, if you wanted to pen up pen down you can do all that but I'm not going to do all that okay so are we ready let's see wow did you see that and my how uh, it went on if you want to do that slowly we can let's see control wait one second right so let's see the draw line how about we include a wait one second and so that you you see what's going on so okay wow see you see that a drawing and kind of coming back here and uh, whoa that, that's because you reach the side see once you reach the side the pro it becomes problematic because you know they, they, this guy scratch guys don't want us to go outside okay so let's stop it and let's restart it stop it uh, what happened x okay clear. it should clear okay 
I think the effect is still there maybe one minute let's see we have some uh, some some reset isn't it reset graphic effects or something I remember seeing that um, looks clear graphic effects maybe I don't know, we'll see it, we'll see, it works. Okay, uh, even that doesn't seem right. All because it went out, you know, so. Well, it's going all kind of crazy things this time. Um, Okay, so you are doing waiting, moving, so the angle, oh, orientation, okay. So we want to or a point in direction 90, okay, that's what it is. I think, I don't think you need that, but uh, anyway, okay. So we, we want to point this way all the time because uh, since I did a stop, basically, okay, that's why. Okay, so now let's do it again. Let's do this uh, uh, no, we want to do this uh, the waiting after drawing the line we'll do the weight. How about that? Move okay. Let's see. Let's try again. See it decided not to draw this side. See? So it kind of came back this way, right? So try again. Pretty cool, right? So you come here, uh, if you want to increase the delay some more, you can increase the delay. And uh, I'm going to kind of sh share. I'm going to try this first time. Let's see. Share. It will say something. Uh, Recursive, recursive lines. Uh, okay, recursive lines. Okay. Okay. See insert. Okay. So. So that's it. It's, you see, this time both if conditions failed, okay? It didn't execute, okay? So this is a little bit advanced to one, okay? So don't uh, uh, feel bad if you don't understand fully, okay? So every time, the, the magic is that every time when you draw, that it will draw a different picture. See, the side gets kind of all uh, messy. That's because we reach the side. You know what? Maybe we should just reduce the size a little bit smaller. 30 and 30 that way we don't reach the side that quickly okay okay let's uh, do that again again it's a uh, little bit messed up oh I'm, I'm doing it in the middle that's why okay um, okay it will be better now that's one drawing right um, you want to make the pens a little bit smaller. Okay. So there's a random decision at every point whether to draw that uh, extra that lines. Okay. Wow. Well, right there is a nice hexagon. You know, so see, you can digging deep, it's coming back and it's uh, drawing, it's continuing to make the decision. See. Wow, that's a really nice picture. <laughs> okay, so eventually it will come back. 
because more lines it draws there's a higher possibility that it will draw even more oh, finally it came back see so the backtracking you know i didn't put a, any delay you, if you put a delay somewhere in the end or something then it will go one step back it will come back too you know so if you want to do that you can put a let's see control wait one second towards the end yeah, that way it will show you how it comes back to okay okay this time didn't draw much well okay refuses to draw dark okay, finally see you see that how it's uh, kind of uh, going and kind of uh, coming back and all that comes back comes back return back see this time we decided not to draw that side it's coming back here i mean that looks quite cool isn't it okay so the the randomness and uh, some probability with the um, kind of around 50 percent time we are drawing you can play with these values too if we put smaller values it will draw even smaller images and um, let's take, try six the bigger values means you'll probably draw too much then it will reach the end more often and the picture will all become kind of messy it can okay nice x again So hopefully enjoy this exercise and uh, try it on your own, okay? That's all. I'm just going to wait till this thing uh, finishes drawing. So it's going to reach the end, which means it's going to create problems. And when it draws this side, see, because it's going out, see, this hexagon became smaller. So I'll look into that. Um, have fun. Thank you. So again, it's called recursive lines, and uh, let me see here. Um, so it, hopefully it's available in the web as well. Uh, see the project page. Uh, that's a project page. Okay, so if you do this uh, project 11937841, it should do that. Very good. Okay, have fun.